Hi everyone, in today's video we will see how to fix Google Fire mobile data not working. Fix 1. Check device compatibility. Your device must meet these requirements. Android phone or tablet. Run Android 7.0 and up. Have LTE bands 2 and 4. And support Volt. iPhone or and iPad. Run iOS 13 and up. Google Fi only support eSIM on iPhone 14 and 15. Fix 2. Turn aeroplane mode on then off. For Android, swipe down the from the notification area twice or swipe down once with two fingers to reveal the quick settings totals. Tap the aeroplane mode icon to enable or disable it. For iPhone, iOS, swipe up the bottom of any screen and tap on off the aeroplane icon in the upper left corner. Fix 3. Check your settings. Ensure that the cellular data is turned on in your phone's settings. For Android, open settings, then network and internet, then mobile data. Enable the mobile data for the selected SIM card. For iOS, open the settings, then cellular, then cellular data. Total the switch next to the mobile data. Fix 4. Do not use Fix 4. Do not use voice and data same time. Due to network congestion in some networks, the ability to use call and data might not work. Turn off the data and try again. Fix 5. Switch to 2G temporarily. Switching the network type will reset the signal strength and allowing you to connect with 4G. For Android, go to the settings, then network and internet, mobile network, prefer network type, select 2G, wait for few minutes and switch back to 4G. For iOS settings, then cellular, then cellular data option, then voice and data, then 2G, wait for a few minutes and switch back to 4G. Fix 6. Check Google Fi coverage. Google Fi only works on LTE slash 4G or 5G coverage. Check for the coverage in your area. Go to the Google Fi official website and check the coverage map. Input your location and click on the check coverage button. Set LTE as preferred network type in your mobile. For iOS, launch settings, then general, then about, then carrier, then select LTE. For Android, open the settings app, then select internet and settings, then mobile data. Choose your SIM, network mode, LTE slash 4G. Fix 7. Reset the network settings. For iOS, open the settings app, then general, scroll down and tap on reset. Tap on Reset Network Settings, you may need to enter your device passcode or Apple ID password to proceed. Confirm the action by tapping Reset Networks again, Reset Network Settings again in the confirmation prompt. Your device will restart automatically and network settings will be reset to their default configurations. For Android, open the Settings app, then Network and Internet, scroll down and tap Reset or System. Tap on Reset Network Settings or Reset Wi-Fi. Review the information about what will be reset then tap on Reset Settings or Reset Network Settings. Confirm the action by tapping Reset Settings. Your device will restart automatically and network settings will be reset to their default configurations. Fix 8. Fix 8. Take out and reinsert a SIM card. Turn off your phone. Locate a small hole on your phone for the SIM card ejection tool. Insert the ejection tool that comes with your phone or SIM card. Firmly but gently push until the tray pops out. Remove the SIM and reinsert the SIM. Gently push the tray back into the phone's slot. Turn on your phone back on. Fix 9. Restart your device. Restarting your device can help resolve various issues such as low performance, app crashes and network connectivity problems. Slide the power of slider to the right to turn off your device. iOS, slide the power of slider to the right to turn off your device. Wait for a few seconds and then press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. For Android, press and hold the power button until you see the power options menu. Tap restart or reboot. Confirm the restart by tapping OK or restart. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more such videos.